on a treasure hunt. I long for something. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. Today we're talking about is 2023 the year for you to be a travel agent? Is it actually a viable career for you? Can you actually make a respectable amount of money? Is the timing right for you to be a travel agent? If that sounds like something that you want to know, keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the show today. All right, guys, don't forget to take a moment, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube. We bring you amazing content every single week to help you. We don't want you to miss a thing. And if you're new here, you might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams. I'm known as the Wanderlust CEO. I am the founder of Careers on Vacation, which helps people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and supersize your travel businesses all over the world. I started in the industry almost three decades ago, back in the 90s, early 90s, straight out of high school. I was a travel agent. I worked for one of the biggest brands brands in the world. I own and operate my own travel agency and everything that we share with you here on the show is tested either in my own agency or in the hundreds and hundreds of brands that we support in growing and scaling their travel businesses too. So without further ado, we're going to get into today's content. We're talking about is being a travel agent a viable career? Maybe you've been thinking about this. Maybe you've been considering it. Maybe you see people traveling the world and living, living the travel lifestyle and you're like, man, I wish I could do that. But what's the catch? We're really going to dive into all of that today. So here's the good news. Being a travel agent, having your own home-based travel business is absolutely a viable career. I have proven that in terms of what I've done in my own business and in the hundreds and hundreds of clients that we serve on an annual basis and the thousands of agents that we've certified all over the world. There are a ton of people making a career out of being a travel agent or growing and scaling their travel agency. So that's the good news. Now, you have freedom in your schedule. Yes, there's travel perks. You get to travel, you get to do all the things. Those are all the good things, but what are the things that sometimes people forget about? We're gonna dive into that too. And I wanna encourage you guys, if you are very new or you're in that consideration fee phase where you're like, is it for me? I want to tell you, I have an hour long free masterclass. This is actually like a travel industry orientation that teaches you how our industry works, the inner workings of it, the things that no one will tell you. I don't hire travel agents. So it literally is from an objective perspective, just sharing the knowledge that you need to know if you're considering getting into it. And it's a deep dive over an hour. We're doing kind of a general uh, overview today, and I'm going to give you some great tips and things to think about, but I'll link that masterclass down below because that's a really a detailed deep dive if you're really getting serious about thinking about it. Um, but I want to talk about, can you make enough money, right? So let's start there. Cause that's usually the first question that people ask. Right? I will tell you guys, I have been not, I've not only had my travel business for a long time, but I have been training people how to start their own travel businesses for even, uh, almost as long as I've had my agency. Right? So one of the things that I've seen are trends year after year after year, and obviously COVID was a difficult year, 2020, but I knew that travel was going to rebound. I don't think any of us anticipated that it would rebound at the level that it did. So we've seen huge blockbuster years in 2021, 2022. We're anticipating going into 2023. I mean, we have clients that are already booked all the way into next year. And also there are things that are sold out already into 2023. So all signs point to this huge resurgence of travel, travels back, all of those things. So that part you can feel great about. The other thing that happened as a result of the pandemic was a lot of um, clients got either bad or poor service as they were working with these online uh, outfits that didn't treat them well or do a good job servicing their reservations or all of those things. But also the world got a little more complicated and also because everybody's traveling, the competition for getting the right vacation is also out there in the marketplace as well. Now you might think, oh wow, that's a lot of stuff to deal with, but that's why clients need you. That's actually a really good thing because if you know how to be a confident, skilled, travel agent that knows how to navigate those things behind the scenes, that puts you in a position where people will line up to work with you. So we found that that adjustment in how people think about travel agents again, that's why we're seeing this huge burst. So all of the stages set for you guys to really kind of decide if this is the time for you. And I would say jump in sooner rather than later because the, the 
clients that you are building, the building your book of business now is going to support your business for the next decade to come. So taking advantage of how this market has shifted and how it's changed is really a smart thing to do. Now, what? let's talk through hurdles because all this sounds great. Like, oh, I get to travel, Cindy. I get freedom in my schedule. I get to do what I love, which is travel. Like, great, great, great. But I want to give you the flip side of the coin too and what I see happen to a lot of agents. I get a lot of DMs on Instagram and YouTube. I get a lot of questions, all the things, because you guys know what I do is educate and train in our industry. And what a lot of people will say is, oh my gosh, I didn't realize X, Y, Z. So I want to give you those X, Y, Z things today. So you know, as you're thinking about it, what are the hurdles that you can run up against? The first one, and probably the biggest one that I've seen recently is People do not understand when they get in or they're like, yes, I want to be a travel agent. They get excited about it and they think it's going to be just like booking their own vacation. When the reality is, is it is not at all like that. You know what you want. You know how you like to travel. You're very familiar with how you want to put your own trip together. But when you are in the service of someone else and you're actually collaborating with them to bring their vacation dreams to fruition, not only is that a different experience, a different process, a, a different workflow, but also you are now in charge of being the facilitator of someone's vacation investment. That's a big responsibility. So some people are paying ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. We've even had thirty, forty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars $50,000 safaris and, and river cruises and different things that are out there. People are buying these big bucket list vacations. That is a significant investment that you're now responsible for navigating the service on that, making sure you have all of your T's crossed and your I's dotted for how you put that together, that giving them the right information, making sure that you're doing everything properly. So do not underestimate the complexity in which your new job will entail. Okay. That's the first thing is understanding. And you can do things like you can check out cruise on vacation certification. There's other certifications out there as well that will give you that skill set of how to be a skilled trained travel agent. I would say pre pandemic, you know, sometimes you could DIY or figure out how to put stuff together. But it's really important, guys, that you know what you're doing, okay? and especially to navigate this more complicated world. So think about a certification that might be something that you have on your plate, or at least know that that's something to in order to get to the place of being the in-demand travel agent that will really give you that extra credibility. It will also help you feel more confident in what you're doing on a daily basis. Now, the second thing that a lot of people don't realize is understanding how our industry works. A lot of people are like, great, I'm going to be a travel agent. I'll just work for an agency or I'll work for a host company. And then I, they'll teach me how to be a travel agent and then I'll, they'll give me leads and then I'll make sales. That's not how it works. So in our industry, how the model works for staffing travel agents is you are an independent contractor, which basically means you are your own business at the end of the day. You make your own rules, you sign up for the work you want to do, you don't do the work you don't want to do, you don't main you don't have to maintain a schedule, you don't actually have to participate in any training that they do, nor can they require you to do certain trainings or certain meetings. Those are things when you're working in a contract position and that's why there's a lot of disjointedness in our industry or agents who don't really know what they're doing and that can be frustrating um, and overwhelming, right? If you're new to it and you're like, I'm just gonna try to like see how it goes, right? So you have to understand that our industry is a little bit different. From day one, you have to put your own training plan together. You have to be responsible for uh, maintaining and protecting your company, making sure that you're reducing your liability and how you set it up, how you interact with clients, all of those pieces. And um, also that even if you are in the service of a host or an agency, you are still going to need to market yourself and get your own leads. It is very rare to have a company that feeds you leads. They might give you a couple extra or if they have overflow, there might be a little bit of that. But at the end of the day, they're going to say it's your job to build your business under our umbrella, right? So you have different choices. And again, my masterclass goes into actually all the different ways to get into the industry. I don't care which way you guys start. That class will help you really understand what the pros and cons of each setup are for getting in our industry. So please watch that. Again, I'll link it down below. And not the, the right answer isn't the same for everyone. What's right for you might not be right for me and vice versa. So you can kind of decide what's going to be a fit for you. But what I want you to understand in terms of a hurdle is understanding that your setup 
and that your responsibilities might be different than you are thinking they're going to be. You have to hustle up your own leads, you have to run your business, you have to do all the things yourself, you have to make sure that you are getting all of those things in place. So not only do you have to be a great travel agent, but the second half of that is you need to learn how to be relevant in this online marketplace, right? It's, it's not like when I started in the industry almost 30 years ago where I went through travel school, became a certified travel agent, I sat at a desk and then the agency fed me leads, right? No, when I started my own agency, I was already a million dollar seller and I was like, I'm gonna be great at this. But then I'm like, the phone's not ringing, what do I do? I had to learn how to be an exceptional marketer and that is that is so important. So understand, you have to do that work on your business and work in your business for those two things to come together in order to really get to your full potential of being a great travel agent or scaling your business. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, all right, is this your year, right? Here's what I want you to ask yourself. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. That's why you're watching this video, right? Think about, do I have a passion for travel? Have I always wanted to do this? That is the number one question I ask people when they are thinking about getting into the industry. If the answer is yes, then you proceed to like step two, right? <laughs> From there, are you going to do the work? Are you going to do the learning that's required? You have to make sure that you are committed to doing those things so you can have the best result possible. I don't want you to get into this just to like say, let me see how it goes. Or, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a hobby agent, but even if you're gonna be a hobby agent, like just do it the right way, get best practices so you can make the most amount of money in that in that hobby time that you have. So I want you to be serious about this endeavor. I want you to treat your business like a business. If you're prepared to do that, then I would say yes, it probably is the time to jump in, probably the time to get started for sure. And here's the other thing too, like I've, We've been doing this for so many years. I have to say, we had our Gold Digger Conference. If you guys follow me over on um, Instagram and YouTube and Facebook, all the places, but over on Instagram in particular, we showcased our Gold Digger Resort, which is where uh, Gold Digger Retreat, not resort. I wish I had my own resort, that would be amazing. But we have a lot of our students that come back for continuing education. You guys, when we did our award ceremony this year, we had more people in our million dollar club and multi-million dollar club than we have ever had in the history of my company. So I think that says so much about the potential in our industry right now. But what is the one factor of all of those people who were at our Gold Digger conference? They had all gotten, earned a certification. They all got these, got the processes. They all got set up properly so they could maximize for their time how they were growing their business. So think about that. They all went through careers on vacation. Whether you take another path or mine, I of course wish you so much success, but I will say that if you are committed to putting the time in and doing the things you should absolutely go for in 2023, what are you waiting for? And I'll remind you that you can visit us over at careersonvacation.com. If you do wanna get certified or you want to just do it the right way from the beginning. You want us to show you every step of the way. How do you sell? How do you market? How do you get your automations in place? What customer service should happen? How do you protect your company? All of those things we share with you in our mastermind program, which is part online program that you get access to your curriculum, but you get to work with real people, you guys. This is what's lacking in our industry today. You get to work with me and my entire team that has helped me grow my businesses uh, to multiple seven figures is where we're at today, guys. And we're so proud that we have the most video case studies compared to any other educational program out there in the industry. We're so proud of that. We're also asked affiliated and we won five, count them, five Magellan Awards this year for our work in the industry and educating you guys. So we're so proud of that and we'd be honored to help you. You can visit us at careersonvacation.com slash ready now if you wanna learn more about how to apply for our programs and we'd love to talk to you about your vision and see if it's a fit to work together. But guys, that's it, oh my gosh. We have one more video I think this year and then we are going to be wrapping it up. So I wanna tell you guys, Happy holidays. I hope you're enjoying all of the good times. Like soak up, like remember a couple years ago when we couldn't see family during the holidays? Like soak up all of this time, you guys. I wish you so much love, so much abundance wherever you are in the world. And hey, if you're gonna miss me, I am taking a little time off for the holidays, but you can always find me over on Instagram. I'll be sharing all of the fun traveling. We are doing some traveling, we're doing some fun stuff. So check us out over there and I'd love to interact with you over there too. So guys, I'll see you, I'll see you, well, I'll see you next week and then I'll see you next year. All right, bye guys. Have a good day. Hey 
guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. It's